as we settle into the, the rhythm of, of formal meditation through the day. Develop the, the habit, the, uh, the pattern of uh, a, a deliberate conscious bringing of the attention to the feeling of the breath, coming in to sit here in the hall, Establishing the, the meditation posture, sitting in a well-balanced, upright way. Checking the, the posture, uh, the mood that we have, the feeling of uh, alertness or energy, interest, tiredness, distraction. Focus. And setting the intention to bring the attention to the present using the, the rhythm of the breathing. Setting that as a clear, conscious intention to let the breath be the center of our world for this period of time. Steadily, resolutely, steering the attention in this way. And then as the mind drifts, wanders into sleepiness or recollection, recreation of the past, imagining the future, whatever it might be. Steadily, patiently, we let go. Letting a sound just be a sound, letting a thought just be a thought, a feeling just being a feeling. A training the mind to, to let those go, to not make anything out of each sensation or thought, mood that arises. Letting a pleasant feeling just be a pleasant feeling unpleasant feeling, just be a, an unpleasant feeling. Not adding anything to it, not writing a commentary about it. And to support this, uh, this training of the mind, this developing of this attitude, we can use the qualities of the breath itself. The exhalation is a natural letting go, a natural releasing, relinquishing. So as you notice your mind trying to get entangled in a story, getting caught in disliking or liking, and that's been noticed, and let the out-breath carry it away, let the exhalation be a, a, a support for releasing, letting go of that, letting that aversion go, letting that desire go, letting the past and future go, breathing them out, it's like breathing out the, the air, the carbon dioxide from our lungs, Release it. Let it fade and dissolve. The in-breath is a natural invigoration. It's literally inspiring, breathing in. The in-breath helps to brighten, energize the mind. So let the in-breath be a way of supporting the quality of, of attention. Focusing, attending to this present reality. Waking up. Being here with what's real.
remember this is an opportunity to be um, working with forgiveness and compassion for yourself. First day of the retreats, out of a, an active routine, traveling from far away, to suddenly shift into sitting still, being with the, the flow of thoughts and perceptions. It's only natural that the mind is going to be uh, active and busy, drifting here and there, do <coughs> dozing off into sleepiness, creating past and future. This is ordinary, natural for our mental habits to be this way. So it's a wonderful opportunity to be forgiving, to be kindly, patient, compassionate towards your own being. Not setting up a, a, an attitude of contention against the mind, but as I was saying, just as if we were looking after a young child, gently, patiently, firmly, uh, befriending and guiding. Coming from an attitude of, of uh, love and friendliness, a caring attention. So we are steering the mind, giving direction, just like helping a child to hold a pencil, helping them to make uh, marks on the paper, gently, patiently, carefully, showing how it's done. Exactly the same way, gently, patiently, carefully, compassionately, taking the attention off the proliferations about the future, recreations of the past, gently letting go, releasing it, letting it dissolve, coming back to the present. The more that we establish these wholesome ways of working, this skillful attitude, then the more we are creating the environment for clear seeing. We're creating the environment for non-confusion, creating the environment for, for learning how not to be drawn by the, the promises and deceptions of, of our mental habits. So when the mind is agitated and confused, caught up in its projections, we most easily get lost in uh, liking and disliking, and get swept up into hating and craving. The more we're able to see in a direct, simple, open way, to see in an unconfused way, then we're putting the odds in our favor. We're making it easier for the heart not to become confused, drawn in by the lies and the promises, the reactive patterns. steadily, patiently working in this way, we're helping to support a, uh, an attitude of equanimity, 
a non-reactivity towards like and dislike. changing the attitude that we have to something that is more balanced, more spacious, more peaceful, more in tune with reality. To know a thought is just a thought, a feeling is just a feeling. painful sensation is just a painful sensation. A pleasant one is just a pleasant one. That's all. No more, no less. Nothing to add on to it. Nothing to, to wipe out. These are just patterns of nature known as simple natural patterns of perception. Coming, going, changing. That's all. <laughs>